get sick as it gets. A whole night drinking out on the town, painting it red until about seven in the morning, and then what better to do than, rather than go to bed, come out here to the middle of the ball ring and get trampled on several times, run around and try and avoid getting gored. It's fantastic. Wow. Look at that. Unbelievable. It's all good, clean Spanish fun. Can you hear the sound of the stags? It's very otherworldly, it isn't is. it? It's the rutting, the rutting call of the stags. It's like something from Walking with Dinosaurs. Um, it does indeed. And that's supposed to attract the female, is it? It's, it's honest advertisement. Females are looking to mate with the biggest stags. So the stags at this time of the year will be giving this bellowing call. So there's a kind of Barry White principle. Indeed, and they're, they're queuing up to, to get that, uh, to find the right stag based on that deep note. Yeah, I don't care if you're fat, I don't care if you're twice as old as me. You've got a deep, manly voice, and that's, that's, what, what, that's what they're looking for. That's what counts. Right. Depth matters. <laughs> Charlie. Matthew. Come Matthew. in, come in. I've been expecting you. Yeah, thank you so much for having this me. This is my sister, Belinda. Hi. What a wonderful door. Quite an entrance, isn't it? it Theatrical. Is. A bit like the Rocky Horror Show in Walking some way. Walking into a piece of history. <laughs> come in, you come out to the lab and see what's on the side. <laughs> <laughs> this is the great room that I first walked into 30 years ago. There were almost no floorboards. They were rotted away because water was pouring through holes in the ceiling. Then we looked at the windows and saw the elaborate carved stone around the windows, and we realised that this hadn't just been an ordinary farmhouse. There'd been something grand or noble about it. And here is the great arch, which inexplicably is supported by a pillar. Well, probably explicably, because we think it was the earthquake of 1425 that disturbed the arch, and the owners lost confidence in the arch and built this pillar to support it. This balcony is my brother-in-law's idea. There was no balcony here, and it's turned into almost a focal point for the house, it, particularly in summer. On a summer's evening, it's lovely to sit out here and have a glass of wine. I do a lot of my writing for The Times, just sitting out here. I guess you guys came in the nick of time, as far as the bank is concerned. I mean, a few more years, and there wouldn't have been a soul to be saved. We bought this as a sort of hobby, and it's actually become the dominating story of the second half of the lives of all three of us. Yes, it's transformed your life in a way that you probably never expected and it to do. And our finances, too. And your finances, <laughs> The three main references in Sanlúcar are the Manzanilla, the King Prons, and the horse racing on the beach. Which, of course, you participate in. Of course. And I win. Am, I am the oldest jockey in Spain. <laughs> no. <laughs> Absolutely. You're the oldest? I promise. I carry the oldest license uh, in Spain. My wife blames me to be too much concentrated on horses. If I come the last in a race, and that happens every day, she says, you're far too old to race. But if I come the first, she's ready there with the hat and the very smart dress to be presented the trophy <laughs> and to be in the news the next morning, you Absolutely. know? So she says nothing when I win. coastal desert and exotic tropical beaches via high plateaus and soaring peaks. To the depths of the Amazon jungle, Peru is a land of myriad climates and cultural influences. Combine this with its rich history and ancient traditions and you have the perfect environment for adventure and some of the world's most exotic cuisine. Steak and kidney pie. <laughs> Millions of gallons of water empty into the Amazon every second, making it the largest river in the world. We'll be exploring its banks, if I can ever get there, 
and sampling some of its exotic cuisine. on the banks of the Amazon. And if you can uh, be bothered to travel here, it's well worth the stay. Cheers. Tell me about this project. We are working this project nine years. For a moment, there are 35 individuals that are, are domestic, around, uh, that are moving around here. They're quite tame, aren't they? Yeah. Well, sorry, <laughs> I got to explain you. While many of them disappear off into the treetops, a lot resist the call of the wild. And who can blame them when they get fed and tickled by the steady stream of appreciative visitors? Don't believe all the monkeys we can see around here, there are the total of the monkeys. No, there are more. When the monkeys come very, very young, it's more easy to adapt here because the monkeys are in the second habitat. Well, it's been a pleasure talking to you, but I can't, oh, exactly. I can't see no evil, hear no evil, <laughs> speak no evil. A strict naturalist would balk at this sort of contact, but with many species under threat, and with over four kilometers of jungle here to play about in, this is a happy alternative to being stuck in a zoo. We've seen how cute and fluffy the guinea pigs are, and now we come to the business end of the operation. If you're easily offended, now might be a really good time to go and make a cup of tea. <laughs> Do they eat the head as well? Yes, see. Could I have a bit of head? See? <laughs> Say hello to my little friend. No way. That is unbelievable. You are a chicken whisperer. <laughs> no, man. Basically, you're hypnotizing them, aren't you? I, I don't know how it works. You just know that it works. Wake so. up, baby. And... We'll put it back in. You'll forget everything you've just been told. <laughs> so what type of chickens are these? These white ones? I, well, they're um, white hens. Right. Um, I can see that. With black <laughs> roosters. <laughs> No. You don't know! I'm the citrus guy. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, white chickens. We I, think, I, think we can, I think we could just leave it there. That's good enough.